G'day folks, Churchy here. We're uh, gonna set up a Waypoint mission with the Mavic Mini today. We're using the Mavic Maven app, which some of you may not have heard of. It's a bit of a rival for Litchi, but uh, I believe a little bit more advanced. So let's uh, set up a basic mission. Hit the Waypoint button, and it'll bring up any missions you've created. Hit the New Mission button. Just gonna create a simple one today, so find an area nearby. Uh, how you set up the waypoints is to long press on the map. There you go. And you can bring up the first waypoint. What it's going to do is it's going to set it at a set height of 25 meters. Let's not worry about that at the moment. You can see two cogs, one on the left, one on the right. We're going to hit the left one. That's your mission control, mission configuration. So you can go in and give your mission a name so that if you ever want to run it or you, you know, a bit pissed and you can't remember what you called it, jump in there and it'll be on the list you can go in there and change the speed so it can be either a set speed for the whole mission or you can change that per waypoint we'll change it per waypoint a couple of other options in there which i'll go through in the next vid but uh, essentially you can control the uh, heading and the gimbal by using the mini as you go or you can just leave it to the app so we'll leave it to the app at this point uh, waypoint behavior we want a continuous flight so we don't want it to get to the point and stop so we'll select continuous there's no POI's point of interest at this stage we might pop one in there shortly now interesting point for the uh, mini Mavic mini uh, it will stop anytime you've got a crap connection so it doesn't matter which one you select here to be quite honest because if you lose connection it'll return home Right, let's go in there. We've got the uh, first waypoint. We'll go in there on the right cog. You can select the altitude. You can select the speed. Well, speed's not a big deal for the first one because it's just going to go there and hover. So it'll take off at the altitude, go to the uh, first waypoint, and then it'll stop. Uh, one, one thing you do want to do is probably pick what you want it to do. So if we want a video, we're going to select one so that it starts recording. Down the bottom here we can choose exactly where we want it on the map just to make sure it's in the right spot. Now we want to go and put a second dot in there, so a second waypoint, so we long press the map, boom, there it is. And again we can go in, set the altitude, we can set the speed that it's going to take off after it goes past that waypoint. So bearing in mind the first one's already set. So the second one, we might uh, change the speed a little bit. Oh, hang on, we'll get the height right. There we go, we'll change the speed a little bit. So that, oh, and you can see there, if it actually gives you a bit of a hint there that if it goes too quick, the video is probably gonna be a bit shit. So just drop it down to that five at the maximum. And that'll be from where it goes from waypoint two to three. We want progressive. So we want it to actually follow Oh, where it's going. There we go. Perfect. And yep, progressive. So what that does is that actually the gimbal will progress or the camera will progress, sorry, to watching what it's going to do. So we go to the third waypoint. Here we go. Let's adjust the height. Tap, 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 tap. And there we go. So it's going to scoot down there, it's going to head over to the left, and then from there we're going to go down, we probably won't do too much here, we'll just uh, maybe just slow it down for the next segment because we're going to pop a POI in. Um, then we want to put a fourth uh, waypoint on the map, so we might go ahead and do that up on the right, um, let's see, let's pop a fourth one in, say, uh, about here will do, yep that's fine. Um, it's crisscross back, why not? Uh, clearly it's cricket oval, so there's not too many things to worry about. We're going to slow the speed down. Uh, we might put a point of interest in, so we hit point of interest, hold down on the map where we want that point of interest, which in this case we'll just pick the cricket pitch, because why not? Um, it asks you for the altitude of the cricket pitch now, it's not too many cricket pitches there. We can slide it all the way down to minus 220. Uh, probably not real clever, but as we know, cricket pitches are flat, so we'll pick zero. What that's going to do is it's going to show the, it'll tell the gimbal where to face. Now you can drag that around until you're happy with it. There it is, spot on, right in the middle. So now, 
when we get to that uh, fourth waypoint, the camera is actually just going to focus on that point of interest. Now, as we add in the fifth one, we're going to say point of interest on that as well. So, as it's going from the fourth to the fifth, it's actually just going to keep its little eyes right on that point of interest. So. We'll see when we actually go and run this mission tomorrow. Um, at this point, I'm just clearly showing you how to set up a mission just with some basic stuff. Now, at the end, we want it to stop and take a photo. Why not? That'll be nice. So there we go. Very basic mission. One, two, three, four, five. We've got... Uh, I'll go through a lot of these settings in detail once I'm very confident that this is uh, working. We hit that little save icon up in the top left. Um, and that's going to then show you the mission itself. Um, and I guess what, what I want to look at here is the little arrows between the waypoints. So what that's going to be is your gimbal movement. It's actually going to show you which, or sorry, the camera movement. It's going to show you which way the camera is facing. So from one to two, straight. From two to three, you can see that the camera is actually going to progress. So that's that progressive button we picked. And so on. Now we'll hit save, we'll head out, we'll hit the three dots and export via Dropbox straight to the phone. We'll load that mission and run it tomorrow. See you folks. Can't wait to see how it turns out. Hey, let me know if you've had any experience with this and uh, give me some comments if you've had a uh, crack at the Mavic Maven um, or similar apps that you might find better. Would love to hear from you. Cheers. Bye.